Walk round the compound, see some pretty tigers. Walk round the compound. Walk round the compound. Walk round the compound. Walk round the compound. One, two. All right, stay here. <laughs> Go. Oh, oh, so close. All right. There we go. Copy that. Thank you. Copy that. That is supposed to be back further and more like this. They, uh, I guess they've done some rearranging. We fixed it, kind of. Uh, I give it two weeks. It'll be like off way to the other side of the enclosure. I'll get this one. Because then it's like the cats will line up at either gate and then be like, which one are they going to get first? Here we go. Fun times. The babies. The babies. <laughs>
You got plenty. Devil cats over here. Oh, Jess is, uh, for some of the older cats, she's throwing little uh, liver pieces. Because the liver's got a lot of nutrients and vitamins and stuff in them. Let me know when you're ready. No, it's actually interesting uh, how someone actually does a pretty decent job of capturing light because a lot of this, the how much of a glow on the horizon over there uh, is not this. It's glowing more in phone than what I can see with my eyes. I can see with my eyes a faint glow, um, but this in phone in the screen is like a couple ticks above above what the peepers can actually see. Just a couple, not not a lot. That's uh Dallas Fort Worth is that way. So because we have we have like uh varying cloud layers, there's like kind of like not like super low, but like mid-level kind of clouds between uh oh 
I'll bet you got like some levels between like six and eight thousand and then another couple levels maybe between twelve and fifteen thousand something like that so you got the light from the city can actually kind of like bounce off of a lot of those those cloud layers enough to make it this far out so some of that light actually might may be uh you know between 40 to 60 to 70 miles away which is pretty pretty wacky you know but it's like it's again it's 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 further away and then it's like bouncing off the clouds and then doop doop and then coming this way okay okay, okay so this is this is lakai's enclosure over here Okay, and then that these lights, these lights, those are houses. Those are houses! Up on the hill! Up on the hill, just within like the last like six months. Oh, I've been here. Been living here. Uh, I, I started here in 2006. And then living on site since like mid-2007. Mid-late, mid to, I mean like... I, oh, I guess I'd say, you know, kind of crashing on site, mid-2007, like staying on site, late 2007. There was never lights on that hill <laughs> since the, in the last six months. Speaking of light. Hey, bud. Hi. Whoa. Whoa, whoa. Ra, ra, ra. Come here. Ra. No, ra, ra. Wow. Whoa. Okay. Ra, do we have to be doing that? Ra. Ra. Oh my gosh. It's because uh, Zubiri was just getting so excited, and then that just got Ra all pissy. That's the thing. Zubiri, that, that's one of the big... Uh, and that's where I was all... Like, this is the thing. I know, like, ultimately it was, like, Ra that was just like, Ra. But I... <laughs> Like, I knew, I saw what was happening. Because Zuby kept on wanting to come by. He wanted to kept on, you know, like saying like, Hey, hey, maybe if I come over here. Hey, maybe if I come over here. Maybe if I come. And I was like, I, I remember just, I was like, Zuby, chill. Zuby, just chill. <laughs> He's going to freak out, man. Zuby. All right. Uh, Slade was... A bit of a turd, but angry turd, angry butt of turds. He seems to be a little bit more kind of chill, so that's good. Oh boy, oh boy, there's Ezzy, Ezzy Choo Choo. The big guy. Sorry. <laughs> People like Derek, are you gonna zoom out anytime soon? I was just looking at him with hearts in my eyes. <laughs> He's a good boy. He's a good boy. Okay, we're just gonna we're gonna keep her moving. We're gonna keep her moving. I got lights on. I'm gonna be just just saying hi to some kitties. Got to see a little bit of the feed. Little bit of the feed. Okay, that is all right. I was I. It's you can't see. Yeah, that's why. Okay. I was wondering why it wasn't showing up. I didn't have it on the right lens. But I was looking over there, and I, that 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 shape I thought was a tiger. Not a tiger. That's actually like a cow rib cage. It's kind of a it's a weird kind of dreamy dream-like shot. There's a cat right there. I think it's Zara. It, 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 this is this is stupid. We're moving on.
I have to prioritize shots where you can actually tell that there's cats like in the frame. <laughs> I cannot be wasting time, wasting people's time. You, dear viewer, I can't be wasting your time by saying like, hey, there's a, that lump, that darkly shaped lump over there. That's a tiger. Trust me. Trust me. Something. Someone like on the on the next road over is they're trying to do something with the truck. <laughs> they're trying to do something. I don't know if I don't know if it's worth that's the thing, it's like you can sometimes you can hear like something with a truck and then you you're thinking like it's either working or it's not working. Like I don't know exactly what you're trying to do, but that sound indicates to me that either what you're doing is good is is a good thing or what you're doing ain't ain't panning out. <laughs> What a good boy. What a good boy. And wow, very impressive. Like an impressively fast eater. Um, he uh, ended up getting a, a horsey head. Horsey head. And the thing with that is like, okay, you think horse head, but it's also like the neck connected to the head. And there's a lot of meat on the neck. And I'm not going to show, but there's like basically the head and then there's like the, the spine and then all the meat around the neck. He actually like ate one of the sides of the neck already. And, uh, you know what? Funny enough. Okay. It makes sense. Makes sense. Boomer historically. And this is just luck of this is basically through through the geographic his it's a geographic consideration the geographic location the locale of boomer has made it to where like he has been the uh unfortunate recipient of a statistically higher than normal average uh incident incidents of being the last cat fed it's true it's true but on this day, tonight, he actually was one of the first cats fed because it worked out just the way because like it, it's always like, going to be a different like depending on what you get throughout the week, how many cows or how many horses or whatever you get donated. So that that affects like, OK, well, I've got this many legs or I've got this many things and I've got this many loads. I've got this many bodies that we have to drop off. You know, it's like. And that, that changes your calculus. It changes the count every single time. So uh, how many times you have to kind of like load up the tractor and get going uh, get, is affected by that. So a lot of times like you do, you run around and then you feed the bodies first. Okay, it just, it was over there. Now it's over here. I think it's someone that like, I legitimately think it's someone who's like, is having a truck that's not doing well. I think it's someone who just has a truck that's not doing well and they're just having a hard time getting it to like go. But it's like it is. It's like it is moving. Maybe it's like only it's like they it's like stuck in like first gear. Yeah. There it is. There it is. There's the truck. There's the truck. I've been listening, I've been hearing for the longest time. That's so weird. What is going on? What is happening? What is that? It's two trucks. What are they, what are they pulling? <laughs> What's giving them so much trouble? This, their haul, their load is giving them just tons of trouble. There's more than one gear. Use a, you, there's it's that there's a third pedal. It's all the way to the left. That's called your clutch. It's, <laughs> I don't know what's happening. All right, Munch is pissed. There's the oh oh because this is the other thing. The the road is actually it's an incline that goes up. It actually it's not like like a huge hill, but it's like enough of an incline, you know, 
if you if you got an engine that's struggling or if you're you know like kind of fat and you haven't ran in a long time like that hill can give you a hard time that that hill can be a hard thing to get up and it sounds like that sounds like they're having a rough go of it We're gonna we gotta get these medicine to the children's hospital. And then you tell them, but the children's hospital is that way. And then the guy's like, God dang it. <laughs> dang. I should have different I should have not ever printed off that map quest. It's a new uh it's a new it, it's a it's a show on freebie the the freebie streaming service uh it's called teddy the good it, teddy the good hearted yet incompetent uh freelance truck driver <laughs> <laughs> and that's that that's the whole name that's the you have to say uh yeah teddy the good hearted uh, yet incompetent freelance uh, truck driver. And it's all about... Uh, every episode is about him trying to do some good in the community. Taking on different jobs with his truck. With his just... His... His struggle bus. That's what he calls it. Teddy and the struggle bus. <laughs> Teddy. And he always takes on, like, he always tries to help. He's like, well, me and the struggle bus can help. He's like, oh, my gosh, we got to, we someone's got to clear these boulders, you know, from uh, off of the bridge. Or else, you know, we can't, won't be able to transport any of these, uh, you know, the, or we're not going to be able to get, we're not going to be able to get these pies from the town to the state bake-off. And then win the prize money, you know, to save the library. We're not going to be able to do that. And Terry's like, I got me and the struggle bus will move those boulders. And then they, they do, they get them, they get them kind of up and moved. But then all of a sudden, like he's, as he's like trying to cart them off the bridge, like he takes the turn too tight. And then like one of his wheels, you know, kind of like gets caught like in like a rut, which then causes like the whole load to like and shift. And then just a bunch of the boulders like fall off and just they just crush a man like jogging with his dog. And <laughs> everyone and everyone's just sad. <laughs> like, no, oh, Terry is an act. Terry's like, oh no, I guess something like this happens every week. Oh yeah. There we go. Hello all you big cat lovers out there, it's me, Derek, again. Welcome to another super duper fantastic episode of the Walk Around the Compound webcast. Hi. Hello. Oh, it's a weird one. Weird one, right? <gasps> Whoa. 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 Hiss. Hiss. Hissy kitty. Okay. Hmm. There's no kitties. I don't see no kitties. I don't know where Allie is. Can't find her anywhere nearby. I'm guessing that Melita's inside of the lockdown, which I don't need to really. I'm. She'll you just yell at me. And that'll make me sad. <laughs> You'd be like, oh, I can't handle your judgment. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay, you can't see Nadal except for a a perturbed tail. <laughs> you all the only bit the the old the. the, the <laughs> Nadal is not here, like, but he had he sent his tail, you know, he like out of respect. <laughs> so like, my tail will make an appearance, but my tail will be very annoyed. There we go. 
Wow. Wow. Guys. 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 Boys. It's not helping. Not helping. We're not. That's not very struggle bus of you. Not entirely sure what a struggle bus is. <laughs> but that that ain't it. Here, let's get that. Apologies, apologies, apologies. Jeepers. Firebug. Firebug. Okay. All right. Well, let's start turning lights off. Fire. Whoa, 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 whoa. What? No, 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 no. Jeepers, Krim. When I, it's like when I, you do the zoom thing and then you have different lenses that operate and like capture light differently. So, yeah. And then we're gonna have that one go out. And then we're gonna this one here go out and then we're gonna go ahead and close the door because there was a TV on in that room and I don't want any of the music getting caught by any of the algorithm stuff which happens all right all right Thanks for watching this episode of the Walk Around the Compound webcast. Hashtag Dorbist Award in the comments section below. Like and subscribe for all of your big cat goodness. And if you want to learn more about the facility around me, you can always visit the website carerescuetexas.com for more information. You keep them tigers fed. Big shout out to the extra fancy patrons. I see you. You are so fancy. And thank you so much for your continued support. And we'll see you later. All right. Bye-bye. like and subscribe for more big cat content